Hello family, it's your guy Huff, and I hope all is well. I'm not going to keep you too long today, family. Family, I want to dive a bit deeper in the differences between AI upscaling and standard upscaling. Now, if you watch um, one of my videos, I did make an attempt to explain um, what the AI upscaling was in the on 4K plus I did not believe that it had um, AI upscaling and I didn't believe that there could actually be a launcher for you to enable or disable it it just didn't sound right so what my explanation was that this is keep in mind this is when I was under the assumption that I thought there was AI upscaling so what I thought it did, I thought that if you had a 4K television and you turned it to its highest resolution and you also turned the on 4K plus to its highest 4K resolution, this would activate the AI software. Now I was right in the sense, but there are fundamental differences. Now it does do that, but it's not through AI. There is no artificial intelligence involved. The standard upscaling is all handled by the hardware of the device. And there are other devices that have standard upscaling and they use the same technology. And there are a couple that have true AI upscaling. Now in this video I'm going to show you the devices that do have the standard upscaling. I'm going to show you the couple that operate with the AI upscaling. I'm going to show you the budget TVs that operate with standard upscaling. And I'm also going to show you the premium televisions that operate with AI upscaling. I'm going to give you one tip. If you're not already doing it, it's just going to make your picture look better altogether. Family, let's get started. So let's start with what is the standard of scaling. This is when the device takes a lower resolution video like the 720p or the 1080p and stretches it to fit your 4K TV screen. If it was in the missing pixels, using basic math, blending colors and shapes to make the video look like 4K. but it's not adding any real detail. It's fast and efficient, but not smart. Now let's talk about the magic of what is the AI upscaling. This isn't just stretching the video. It's using the machine learning to analyze each frame in real time. AI looks at the patterns like faces, textures, and edges and tries to predict what the missing detail should look like. It sharpens, enhances, and refines the picture so it feels a lot closer to native 4K. It's not perfect, but it's, it's way smarter than basic upscaling. Facts. Family, this is a chart that I created the uh, upscaling comparisons of the chart. Now, when you see all the red X's, those would be the devices that have the standard upscaling, and ones with the green check marks below will be the ones that have the AI upscaling technology. Now, I'm going to read this first one, family, um, where it says on 4K and 4K Pro. They both have the standard upscaling, budget-friendly, clean 4K output, no smart image. And if you go through these with the X's, they basically all are saying the same thing. Like, if I just jump down here to TiVo on stream 4K standard upscaling, Android TV based, basic processing. So all these X's mean that they're just operating under 
standard upscaling which means that they are correcting and giving you a quality picture through the hardware of the device now look at the two down here family the Nvidia Shield 2019 model and the Nvidia Shield Pro 1 and 2 AI enhanced upscaling at 720 1080p with adjustable levels Nvidia Shield TV Pro best in class AI upscaling great for Plex, Kodi and streaming that's interesting I think we all have a better understanding actually what the standard upscaling is and the AI upscaling what we thought was a new technology has been in existence for quite some time now the Apple TV devices they use regular upscaling but the rate that they do it is so high as far as clarity and everything it does a very good job at executing the upscaling probably better than the rest of the devices you can't deny the clarity of a Apple TV device and family the technology does carry over to our 4k television sets I'm gonna show you the premium sets that have the AI upscaling and I'm gonna show you the budget sets that have the standard upscaling and probably on the left we, in the green we have our premium TVs with AI upscaling and on the right we have our budget TVs with basic upscaling now for our premium we have the Samsung QLED and the Neo QLED we have the Sony Bravia XR models which is in my household currently I love Sony Bravias we also have the LG QLED QLED G series now on the right are budget TVs with basic upscaling the TLC lower end Roku or Google TV models the Hisense non ULED or entry level models the Asigna the Toshiba and the Fire TV models. Now let me give you a tip family and this is goes for both technologies. If you have a 4K television you want to go into your resolution settings and you want to set your television at its highest resolutions. So if you can go in there and set your television to 4K 60 Hertz do that. If you have the on 4k um, plus or any other um, device that has the basic upscaling you want to turn those devices to its highest resolution as well reason is if you just had the basic upscaling it's not going to be activated until both of your devices are at its highest resolution that's where you're going to get your best performance out of your software family go to your settings and make sure you have your television set at its highest 4k resolution because if you don't um, in some cases like in the basic upscaling the software won't even be initiated family I'm about to wrap this one up I hope we all learn something in the differences between AI upscaling and the standard of skilling. I knew we would get to the bottom of the family. It's nice to know that we have other options in televisions and our streaming devices and to know that this technology has been around for a while prior to the on 4k plus even the on 4k pro has the same standard of scaling technology would have known. Family, like, comment, share, and subscribe. 
and turn on that bell notification if you feel like being bothered with me. Family, as always, be good, be safe, and I'll be back at you with another one.